okay, it's been a crazy week. I don't even know where to start, so I'm just gonna start at the beginning. So this is a wet sold video, but it has to come with a little bit of a backstory because my sales last week were kind of, I don't wanna say unprecedented, but they're unprecedented. <laughs> okay, so last week I posted a video on TikTok unboxing a liquidation order and it was just some jewelry that I had purchased from the company New Without Tag Outlet. I saw that they were offering a box of bobble bar jewelry for $150 for 640 pieces. That's a pretty good price if you do the math on it. There was tax and shipping on top of that, but the base cost of the box was $150. So anyways, I took to TikTok and just posted a quick unboxing actually sitting on the floor in my office here showing what I had purchased. Lo and behold, the video blew up. I don't know what the rhyme or reason is for videos blowing up and doing well or going viral. However, that one did. And so I didn't really do anything the first night. I was just kind of like, okay, there's a lot of people viewing this video. <laughs> And then the next day I thought, uh, well, I better get this stuff listed because people started asking where they could buy it from me. There were nine different styles of jewelry that I had received. I quickly listed all of the items on my Shopify store and I filmed a part two to the video because I hadn't finished unboxing it. So I put the part two up and said that I was going to list all the jewelry for $5 a piece. Again, I purchased it for not that much money. Well, this past week, my Shopify store went wild and I sold, let's see, 564 pieces between Wednesday at 4.37 p.m. until when I'm filming this video now, which is on Tuesday at around 4 p.m. Yeah, 4.30 p.m. So yeah, I sold 564 pieces. Some people purchased multiple pieces, bundles, etc., and it resulted in $2,815 in sales, which blew my mind. I couldn't even believe it. It was a crazy week and on top of that, I got a really bad cold, so I was sick and so I powered through it and I sent out over 200 orders at this point. My husband helped me. I'm very grateful for his help, but that gets tied into this what sold video. That's kind of a roundabout way of getting into, hey, here's what sold. So I did have a big week including my Shopify sales, which I'll just include the sales up until this point because I kind of feel like I, there's not that many more pieces to sell. It's only about less than 100. So my grand total for my sales for last week were $6,227.92. So this is based off of eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and then Shopify, which I don't typically have sales to talk about there. So let's get into it. <laughs> On eBay, my sales were $2,067.92. I sold 56 items. And the first item that I wanted to share with you guys is this Ellery dress. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. The whole name, I'm like, am I getting this right? Because it's the Ellery Bach, B-A-C-H, sheath dress. This sold for $133. And I listed it back in the end of March of this year and yeah it's june now so it took a couple months to sell but it's again to be expected with more expensive pieces they just sometimes can take a little bit longer to sell sometimes they sell quick and sometimes they take a little bit longer to sell just given the price i really love the colors on this dress i thought it was really pretty i am not afraid to sell items with flaws and so this was actually a flawed item most of the items I'm gonna talk about today are flawed. So this one did have a tear at the zipper. I did disclose it in the photos, condition, and the description. So I try to cover all of my bases when it comes to disclosing flaws. Buyers, obviously, you know, they're either gonna feel comfortable with that or they're not. All right, next item I wanted to show you was this purse from the designer Anin, Anin? Anin, I think it's Anin. <laughs> Anine Bing, and it's the Saffron Tote. This was new with Defect, but the Defect is really small. It, there's a couple little spots on the purse that were pretty faint, um, but because of that, I did accept a lower price for it. I think the purse retails for about $200 new, and I accepted an offer of $110. One thing that was nice about this offer on eBay is that it did go through the eBay International Shipping Program, and returns are a little bit different when it comes to the International sh Shipping Program. eBay handles the return, and so essentially there's no returns with the International Shipping Program. It used to be called the Global Shipping Program, so that's why I'm having to train myself to say it a little bit differently now. I do get a little bit excited when an international order comes in, 
because I know that there's not going to be a return or if eBay does do a refund, then eBay is going to handle the refund and I'm not gonna be out any money. All right, and that one actually sold really quickly. So speaking of things that can sell really quick, I believe this only took maybe 24 hours to sell, so pretty fast sale. The next item I wanna talk about is this Nanushka Kalia, Kalia? K-A-L-I-A dress. This sold for $80 and I listed this on April 21st of this year. So again, about a month and a half to sell, not too bad. This one did have a small two inch tear at the waistline, but again, I put it in the photos. I disclosed it in all the ways that I possibly could. <laughs> and yeah, oftentimes I will get feedback from folks who buy my flawed items and they'll tell me that, you know, they were able to sew up the flaw pretty quickly. And yeah, you know, you're either like, okay with buying flawed clothes or you're not. Okay, now let's talk about Poshmark. I'm looking down at my little notebook here. So on Poshmark, uh, my sales were $1,207 and I sold 39 items. And the first item I wanna tell you about is this Tory Burch dress. It is a color block dress and this sold for $200. I think I was a little bit surprised at this price. More so when I went to actually price the item. So I always look at comps before I price my items to sell and I use Terapeak on eBay which comes with my store subscription it's really great there is it used to be like a one-year look back but I actually think it's three years now at this point but somebody can correct me if I'm wrong about that anyways I always use that when I can to price my items if I can't find any information there then I'll go look at Poshmark the reason Poshmark is not my go-to is just because there's so much historical data with not a lot of information in that data. So for instance, if you go to sold listings on Poshmark and you scroll and you reach the bottom, if you click on that bottom sale, it doesn't actually say the year that it sold, it'll just say May 29th. So for me, that's less useful because if that item sold in, let's say 2012, the market is very different 11 years later than it was at that time. If I'm doing that wrong somehow, if I'm not looking at Poshmark comps in the best or most effective way, somebody let me know because I'm open to hearing some suggestions on that and maybe somebody has a better way of looking at it. But I will try and look at the most recent ones that have sold and yeah, and just try out. Maybe I'll look at like 10 of them and then base them on condition, add them all up and I'll go with the average. And then that's usually how I'll price my item. So this item did have some discoloration, I believe on the back of the dress. Again, photographed it, noted it in the condition and description. And I have had this item since January of this year. So a few months, but again, I'm okay waiting <laughs> for $200. It was worth it, I think. I don't know that I actually got any other offers in the meantime on it. So it's great when somebody dips in and grabs it. The next item I wanna show you is this dress by the brand Mons. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. M-O-N-S-E. It is this Jersey tea dress. I really like this dress. I think it's really cute. If I wore anything other than leggings and a t-shirt, I would love to wear this. <laughs> this sold for $75. And I also listed this one back in January, at the beginning of January, like the other item. This one did have a tear at the hip line. Again, photograph, disclose, all those things. Moving on, next item that I wanna show you is this cardigan. This is super cute. It's from the brand Something Navy. And this one did have a flaw in it. I can't remember the original price on it, but I do believe I did price this one a little bit lower just because of the flaw. So it was new with tags. I almost wanna say it retailed for like 150, possibly 200. It was really cute. It had this beading down the front of it. it reminds me of like bracelets that I would make at summer camp. And so, I think there was some discoloration from the maybe hook closures that were on the inside of the cardigan that closed it. So anyways, I think that there was like rust that had maybe come off onto the fabric and I didn't wanna clean it or mess with it. It's better off having some professional cleaning done to it. I just disclosed it, put in the photographs, everything. It sold for $55 and the buyer did go back and forth with me a couple of times. 
I think on eBay and Poshmark. <laughs> we finally came to an agreement. I did list it on May 12th, so it took about a month to sell, but that's not too bad. Okay, the next platform I wanna talk about is Mercari. So on Mercari, I did have six sales, which is pretty good. $188 was my total for those six sales. I do like listing on Mercari, even if it's not a huge amount of money that I get there. It's just kind of a nice compliment. I do feel like some things sell differently or better over there. And so for that reason, I'm happy to list items there. I don't necessarily hold items back from Mercari. So in terms of, do you cross list your items here? Do you cross list your items there? I cross list them everywhere just because uh, to me, buyers are everywhere. So anyways, uh, the one sale that I wanted to talk about is this Riot Jacks swimsuit bottom. And it was just the bottom, not the top. This sold for $67. I had it listed since May 25th. So what, three weeks? Not even a month at this point. It was new with tags, so $67, not too bad. So that's what I mean. Like, did I, do I think that I would have sold a $67 bikini bottom on Mercari? No, absolutely not. I would not have guessed that that would have been a sale that would have happened for me, but here we are. So I'm happy with it. And then, uh, oh, I have one more that I wanted to tell you about. I also sold this Prana Milani dress. This sold for $30. It is new with tags. I do have, I purchased some liquidation of like a bunch of Prana items. So if you want any Prana stuff, I'll give you a really good deal on it. Just go check out my stores. But this is actually a really cute dress and this sold, like I said, for $30. It was brand new with tags, no flaws, nothing. And I listed on May 11th and yeah, so about a month. Well, a little under a month because it sold like sometime during last week. But anyways, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> and then, yeah, lastly, I guess would have been my Shopify sales, but I kind of started with those. Um, if anyone purchased any, because I did post about it on Instagram because I was so shocked that the video got as many views as it did. So I shared it, well, I shared that I was selling the jewelry on Instagram. There is some jewelry left, so if you are curious and you want to purchase any, it is listed on my Shopify store, which I will link down in the description below. It's $5 per piece plus the cost of shipping, and I've been trying to send them out like next day. So anyways, that is my what sold video. I hope you all are having a wonderful week, and I will talk with you soon. Bye.